All right, guys. Hi. It's gonna. This video is gonna be a little confusing, so let me just walk you through. I am a guy, right? The owner of this channel you're watching right now. I'm actually a real person. I'm not like a fake bot or scammer, whatever. I'm. Hi. So um, yeah, I, not many of you know that as well, but I actually have another live channel, which I monetized in 34 days. That was happening back in like January, February, March. Currently, I'm not really posting on this channel because. Uh, I'm just busy doing other things, but I dropped this amazing one hour, 40 minute monetization course, which you are watching right now. I decided to re-upload it on this channel. So um, yeah, enjoy. This course is packed with value. Before we begin, I have an Instagram account, which you're welcome to follow. All the links are going to be below. I'm also launching on school soon. There is a waiting list. Uh, you can sign up by DMing here the word call and uh, get on the call with us. All right, guys, I'm excited to be introducing this video to you because in this video, I'm going to tell you how I managed to monetize my main channel, this channel you're seeing right here in five months, and then how I took all the knowledge and experience, all the mistakes I made throughout my journey of monetizing this channel, and then how I managed to monetize this channel you're watching right now, by the way, in just 36 days. So this video is going to be a full guide, a full course, free, fully free, genuine course, on monetizing a YouTube channel. And we're not just gonna talk about ad revenue. So what do I mean by that? This course is gonna be split in several sections. So before I even mention the sections, I just wanna give you the number one most basic, easiest rule of getting monetized on YouTube. You need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 of watch hours. So in the first section of the course, I'm gonna tell you how to get 1,000 subscribers as fast as possible. In the second section, I'm gonna tell you how to get the watch hours as fast as possible. Then I'm going to tell you how I got monetized in 36 days and what you can literally just copy my steps and what you can do to achieve same results or just get monetized as quickly as possible. Then I'm going to cover the highest paying niches on YouTube and I'm going to explain to you what is CPM, what is RPM. And as a bonus, for those of you who are going to watch the course until the end, I'm going to tell you how you can get monetized without getting monetized, meaning how do you get what are the other ways and routes to get uh, you know, that sweet little dollars in your pocket. What are uh, other ways to getting monetized? And another bonus, bonus number two, we're going to cover SEO keywords. Basically, I'm going to give you some little tips, you know, some little hacks and tricks on how you can actually rank your videos higher and you can get views faster. So by all means, this is what you want to see. This is if you're an aspiring content creator or you just want to improve your YouTube game. Welcome. Let's get to it. All right, so now we're about to jump in into the first part of the course is how to get 1000 subscribers as fast as possible. For your convenience, I'm going to add timestamps. So if any point in time you get bored, trust me, you really don't want to click off this video just yet because, well, it is not my way to clickbait you. Genuinely, watch this video fully and your understanding of YouTube is going to flip around because the way I got my understanding of YouTube in the first place is through filtering thousands of videos similar like this one but this is the one this is the value i'm gonna give you and i spend money on paid courses myself so i learn from people for free and for money so i have so much information to give you if you want to save yourself some time just uh, watch this video in 2x speed there is the settings button like right here or right here whatever uh yeah just change the speed of the video and let's get into it so how do you get your first thousand subscribers on youtube a lot of people think it's something hard and complicated but it's really not if you know what you're doing so using the tactics that I'm going to show you in this video, as you can clearly see, I've been getting steadily at least 150 subscribers or so per day, peaking at around 600 subscribers per day. I achieved that twice. Trust me, for the channel, my niche, for like an educational slash financial channel, it's a lot. It's really expressive growth. Of course, you might naturally ask, well, right here, it's slowed down. Yes, because again, for the channels of my niche, usually they all tend to just explode exponentially up to like 30 40k subscribers and then the growth just kind of slows down but if you're going like mr beast mode let's say and you're making like a mainstream channel this growth can realistically never stop if, again if you're not what you're doing and you're implementing the strategies i'm about to reveal to you in this video even this channel you're watching right now it's a very cringe channel bro like i don't edit videos whatsoever i really make those live videos like something like this course right now and even here i'm steadily getting around 40 to um you know 100 subscribers but 
things are really you know well at the peak yeah i got here 200 subscribers in a single day which is quite crazy to me so let's actually get into the tactics so before we even get into the tactics let me just explain to you the general criteria of getting monetized obviously you need 1000 subscribers of watch time or 4000 watch hours gained in the last 365 days only watch hours that are gained from long form videos for example the video you're watching right now is a long form video obviously so only watch hours from these type of videos account to the 4000 if you're posting shorts there is another way to get monetized which was introduced very recently you can get 10 million views from shorts only in 90 days so i want to get this straight these two metrics they are different so because when you post shorts a lot of people get confused and this is like one of the most popular questions i get when you when you would post a short um well actually it's not um it's not shown here anymore but i know in my phone youtube studio uh you can see watch hours like on the long form content like right here let me just get that straight so okay never mind i guess it doesn't show anymore but okay yeah let me get that very straight the watch hours they account to long form videos shorts they account to views views from long form videos they do not account anywhere they don't they don't matter when it comes to hitting your criteria. again i hope that is straight and you guys all we are all on the same page right 10 million views from shorts or 4,000 watch hours from long form videos actually there is there is the first step of getting monetized is you first hit the, this criteria now it's not really major so the way it works i think youtube just made this first step of getting monetized in order to simplify the whole uh criteria or or the whole process of getting monetized what do i mean by that usually how it went for me so first of all i obviously you know naturally you first hit the 400 subscribers and then you hit the 3000 watch hours and once once you do that you are then allowed to send your account like it, on the right side here there's going to be a big button that says like right apply so you hit apply and you as long as you follow the community guidelines which you can uh, get accustomed with uh, somewhere here um yeah just click around i mean obviously just like don't use uh content that you don't have the rights to use so for example i'm recording this video i'm the creator of this video so i can legally use this video right so just use your own videos obviously don't like show nudity in your videos don't like show blood you know something crazy and you'll be good everybody gets monetized so anyway uh once you hit this first criteria you get accepted into the youtube partner program you will first get an email saying you got accepted to the youtube partner program and then naturally some time will go by and once you hit this criteria boom you're immediately monetized what was what happened in the past when this step didn't exist a lot of creators will get frustrated this step would take too long they would spam youtube supports emails so yeah and also obviously you're able to use uh, memberships okay so there's like a monthly subscription you can provide uh, people some perks for example priority uh, comment replies or you can publish some private videos that only your members will have access to i don't really utilize this because youtube takes 50 percent cut of memberships which is quite ridiculous i don't think it's fair so i don't really use it that much but just so you guys know all right so before we actually gonna run up the subscriber tactics how to get subscribers how about you go subscribe to my channel huh so when you watch my videos and because you know what i mean like i'm gonna reveal a lot of hacks so when you watch my future videos you're gonna be like i see what you did there i, oh, I know what you did there i know I, bro I, I yeah i know what you did there i know what you did there oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're gonna just write it in the comments just like that i don't know what you did there so subscribe let's continue all right so trick number one to getting subscribers you just literally saw it right now i by the way i hope you subscribe but yeah you always need to have a clear call to action but you don't just say guys please subscribe to my channel okay please you don't do that because it's just stupid i tried to be i mean i know it was probably super cringe for me to ask for for you to subscribe to my channel like that but um i i tried to be original there you know i was like oh yeah I'm, you're gonna watch my video so basically i tried to give you a reason to subscribe to my channel you understand so for example 
obviously you're watching right now an educational video about youtube growth so i gave you a kind of a, an association or an idea or a reward for why you should subscribe to me is because now you're gonna have you're gonna learn all these tips from me and so in the future videos you're gonna see me naturally implementing my own tips right like duh obviously and so then i try to make it funny i'm already trying to create a community even though i'm a small channel so in the future videos i know there's gonna be some people that are in fact gonna subscribe then they're gonna go to my other videos and they're gonna be like i see what you did there i think it's fun i think it's it's a it's about creating some kind of a hype around your channel some kind of a legend you know some kind of a storyline so yeah rule number one to getting subscribers you want to have clear to call to action you want you want to give people a reason and a reward and a benefit of subscribing to your channel now next natural sort of advice um, you know, if you don't want to be cringe like me, because I just naturally don't care. By the way, I know this people is going to have a lot of random viewers landing on my channel. Just understand that I don't care. Truly, I don't. I know I'm cringe a lot quite often, but it's just how it is. It's how it's going to go forever on the channel. But anyways, if you want to be like a little more conservative, you know, a little more like normal, that's fine. That's totally fine. So what you could do is you could um for example you could tell people hey go to subscribe to my channel and comment that you in fact subscribed so what's gonna happen then is they're they're gonna or or you can tell them like go comment that you joined the community so what's gonna happen is people gonna naturally subscribe to your channel and they're gonna start commenting and then other people are gonna start seeing their comments and they're just gonna create a lot of comments and then other people are gonna subscribe so you're gonna create this kind of a snowball effect i hope it makes sense um I, i've never done that because i think it's kind of cringe and those comments that's like truly cringe like you know what i mean like if you're being cringe just like be always be original what i just told you that's just like an idea for you to think of but don't just say like yeah subscribe and comment that you join the community again why do they want to join the community you know initially myself again i gave you the reason to subscribe at least a funny reason so then you can go ahead and comment about it yeah i see what you did there you know it's at least original right it's at least cool and it gives your viewer a reason to pay attention to your video and then your other videos um we'll get back to it later uh, because there is also a much much deeper thing behind me what i just said literally i i just played some major psychological game on you guys so we're gonna get back to it later but for now let's get to the next trick so once we covered i mean i just mentioned comments right so i we just established that we want people to comment something whatever that is again uh you don't necessarily have to tell them to come to oh, I see what you did there or you just don't tell them um, to, you know, don't always tell them to join the community. You can always be like, hey, I, I see you guys are watching me from different regions in the world. Let me know what country you're watching from or, you know, whatever, you know, if you're a musical channel, ask your ask your viewers about their favorite type of music. You basically want them. You want to get a comment out of them because YouTube algorithm really appreciates people commenting once you got that comment you need to really work with that comment here's what i mean what i the mistake i see a lot of youtubers make is they just ignore the comments you know i would open their videos um and and this just ab like abandoned comments i'm like why you guys ignore this so what you could do is basically always reply to your comments engage with your viewers so so basically what happens i just went to one of my old videos on my main channel here i want to show you comment section like what your comment section has to look like when you start uh, when you post your first video it has to look like this you have to like every single video that a potential viewer is gonna i mean i'm sorry you have to like every single comment that the viewer is dropping and you want to ideally reply to every single comment for some reason i didn't reply to them but you want to reply there are several reasons reason number one is well when other new viewers potentially land on your video a lot of people immediately scroll down to the comment section because everybody has adhd nowadays and so when they see a comment section 
And there is something about YouTube when, when people really appreciate channels that reply to comments. And it's especially important for small channels because, okay, yeah, sure. When your channel gets big, it becomes overwhelming. Like you start getting so, so many comments, it, it becomes insane. You cannot physically reply to all of them without like hiring someone. But anyway, so you always want to reply and like the comments so that people see that in fact the creator of the videos cares for the viewers and they will you know often they will leave the comment just to see like they will have this inner curiosity they want to see huh is this guy going to reply to me as well let's just leave a comment or i got comments straight up saying oh this guy is so nice he's replying to all of the comments so the fact that i'm replying to all the comments um you know triggers ours others to comment period that's reason number one reason number two and that's merging kind of into my next reason slash strategy when you upload a new video uh what i do is basically i started uh implementing this strategy recently but what i do is basically i let all these comments build up and um you know lately on this channel i haven't really uploaded a major video Okay, this video I consider a major video. So when I uploaded this video, I went into the comment section and I spent like good 30 minutes replying to all of the comments. I replied to them at once. I just sat there and I replied and liked, you know, like that every single comment. So what it does is, um, you know, I don't have my phone around me, but oh, here it is. So yeah, on your phone, you know, you get notifications from YouTube. And so when I like someone's comment like this, the person, uh, is gonna get a comment or is gonna get a notification on the phone that uh, you know AI guy liked your comment so if he's not subscribed to my channel because if the person is subscribed to your channel they're gonna get a notification about the video right but if he's not subscribed to my channel uh, once I post a video he's gonna get a notification that AI guy liked your comment and then if I reply to his comment he's also gonna get a notification and an email saying that AI guy in fact liked your comment and replied to your comment. So all of this is gonna, what's it gonna lead to? Let's think, it's gonna just increase the chance that he's gonna go to my channel and then he's gonna see, oh, he's got a new video. And then it increases the chances of him watching my new video and then he might just subscribe to me. Yeah, boom. That what just what I just laid out for you guys that alone deserves your like. I don't know if you haven't subscribed to me by now. I don't know what you're doing, dog. Honestly, bro. Okay, let's go to the next tip. Another very popular call to action I really want to show you guys is first of all, actually, I want to talk about this metric. Often YouTubers will show this metric right here, the watch time from subscribers right here. I'm gonna zoom in on it. So basically first of all for many many youtubers it's about the most common popular metric on youtube on youtube is 85 of the people are not subscribed and about 15 of the viewers are subscribed 15 percent in my case it's 40 percent are subscribed holy <laughs> it's it's much appreciated guys this me it means i'm doing something right but basically yeah you always want to show this metric and then you're gonna be like oh yo guys by the way 85 percent of you are not subscribed so please hit that like button that i see that that's probably the most one of the most popular call to actions i've seen across the whole youtube um across like all niches entertainment especially i've seen that on mainstream channels so i guess what it does psychologically to people is it makes them kind of attached to the smaller group of people i don't know i'm not a psychology specialist but it's just one of the call to actions i've seen across youtube so before moving on to it i literally just remembered about it so um yeah i just wanted to show it to you and now let's move on all right so the next tip i want to share with you guys is uh you want to replicate proven to work content now i don't mean to copy someone's content i don't just mean to copycat rip someone's video completely because it doesn't work first of all second of all if you're making like if you're gonna copy someone's video and then gonna make the video in the same niche chances are same exact viewers are gonna watch your video they will call you like i'm speaking from experience i have attempted to blatantly steal someone's video in the past literally word for word First of all, I took it down because actually when you steal someone's video word for word, you might get a copyright strike. So your channel can get demonetized and even deleted. So all your hard work goes to trash. You don't ever, don't copy nobody's video, but you 
model is. Here's what I mean. So for example, let's say you are in a crypto niche, okay? That's a very specific niche, but uh, whatever. Let Then what you can do, and it applies to all niches, but I, I just know something about crypto as well as uh, YouTube education. So I can just point at good videos. So then you go to filters right here, and then you uh, select by, I mean, I'm sorry, you filter by this week, and then you filter the view count. So what happens now is you're going to see videos from the past week that are doing very, very well. Uh, then you just select the video that you, you know, let's say you want to look for a somewhat small channel. So far, I'm really seeing uh, huge channels. Okay, let's see. Uh, this guy is, um, he's 40, he has 40k subscribers and he's got 200,000 views on this video. Or this channel, 400,000 subscribers and 200,000 views. Those kind of, you know, um, ratios would be considered great. And so... And so, you know, th those videos are just well worth trying to model. Then what you do now is you go to their video, you watch their video, you understand what they did, why it went and, you know, why they're doing good in the first place. And then you take their idea and try to improve it by adding some of your own value to it. On top of that, uh, genuinely speaking, you always want to make at least eight minute plus videos. The longer, the better. Currently, there is the meta trend on YouTube. You just make absurdly long videos. When I say absurdly long, I mean like 20 minute plus videos. Ideally, like this guy, one hour videos. Uh, because there is cur a current trend on YouTube. There is uh, a lot of new viewers coming in on the, like TV, on smart TVs. Because a lot of people are, uh, from my observations, again, from metrics, statistics, People are switching over from like Netflixes to YouTube because, you know, again, there's a lot of, that's a fact. There's a lot of like long form content like this coming to YouTube podcasts, for example. That's a great example, actually. Um, you know, podcasts are actually becoming an incredible trend right now. And there is no alternative like this on, on Netflix, right? So uh, what I'm trying to say is algorithm currently, especially better than ever, prioritizes longer form videos. And on top of that, you get you get paid uh, more for long form videos. But we're going to get back to it later for the getting paid aspect. But just believe me what I say. You want to make long videos. You want to model proven to work videos. Literally like I just showed you again. Um, where was it? Whatever. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. You go to crypto. You search it or whatever you want to search. Or let's say, uh, I don't know. What do you want to make? Let's say you want to make uh, Minecraft. Okay, so you search Minecraft and then you, I know nothing about Minecraft, so I cannot point you out to a good video, but um, again, apply the same thing and then you just scan through the videos. You know, if you're a Minecraft expert, you will kind of recognize opportunities and then just replicate it. That's simple. On to the next tip we go. Now in this next tip, I'm about, I'm about to just go Mr. Obvious for you guys. Uh, but yeah, in order to really get some major views, you want to get, you want to keep people on YouTube. Here is what I mean by that. YouTube is a business, right? So, and what you what you want from YouTube, obviously, is views, subscribers, watch hours. YouTube naturally has all of it. All the views and watch hours and subscribers you could possibly ask for, right? Uh, duh. Thank you. So, you know, you, you just you need to exchange value with YouTube as a platform. Here is what I mean. Let's let's just get down to business. How YouTube works in the first place. So YouTube's business is, you know, when when you when someone clicks on the video, naturally they will, you know, they will either see an ad or they will skip the ad because they're subscribed to YouTube Premium. So, you know, YouTube's majors uh, revenue are coming from YouTube uh, Premium, like I said, and the ads that the advertisers pay to YouTube, right? And that's how you as a creator get your share. In fact, there's about 50-50 split for everything or like 45-55% ratio uh, split. So basically what do you want to do is you want to, after a person lands on your video, you want to do your best, absolute best job to make sure that they stay on your channel, meaning they somehow make it to your next video or they watch your video and then in the video you give them a reason to land on your channel and then they click through the videos but let, let's let's get that let's break that down in order shall we so how do we practically you know do that that's that's good to say all of that obviously but uh, how how do we do that first of all it's all about retention youtube awards you when you manage to 
achieve high retention numbers a retention number is right here let me just show you for uh, demonstration purposes actually my retention could be higher i'm working on it it's not good i mean it's not <clears throat> it's not bad sorry but uh yeah it's three minutes so i get an average retention of about like you know uh 30 percent per video let's say ideally if you want to just go mr beast level and you want to get like millions of uh, views you want to aim at like 60 percent but you cannot just aim at it like you you know what i mean like you just have to achieve it but anyways there are certain focuses and like tricks uh in order to hook your viewers yeah you see how i said hook you really need to hook them like you're hooking a fish you know you're fishing like your viewer lands on the video you need to catch them you need to boom i got you you know what i mean because youtube is just look there's so many videos they could watch it all it takes is they click on your video and ah, it sucks it's boring and they just click back off so my favorite way and the way i find most practical to hook the viewer and uh, especially it works well with like educational content so for example on my main channel i recently dropped this course right by the way i suggest you to go watch it after you're done with this video it's pretty cool uh and in this video i explain it's like a long and you know intense course about creating uh wisdom shorts okay and naturally it's somewhat of a boring topic right i mean it's ai you, you know you see me like editing here like nobody wants to watch that right away right but the way I start the video, I'll just allow you to watch it. And just like that, guys, I literally just showed you how to create a channel, how to create shorts, three types of shorts for it, how to do everything step by step, create the channel, make the business around it. It is insane. Guys, who else on YouTube does this kind of stuff? Show me that person. No one. So what I did there is basically logically and chronologically, I recorded this part at the very end of the process. So this part was actually recorded and it was supposed to be right here at the end. But I was like what if i just move it all the way up, you know to the beginning of the video and that's what i did and it gets the people hooked so they kind of immediately see what's happening in the video and then they watch the video entirely and they kind of logically make you know what i mean they just kind of they're watching it just to get to that point at the end of the video um that's tip number one tip number two i actually used in the video you're watching right now so if i just uh well i'm not i'm not gonna play it but basically uh if you want to like if you don't believe me or you want to uh, rewatch it, basically what I said at the start of this video, I said the, fra the following phrase. If you watch until the end of this video, okay? That's so cliche. Yes, it's straight up baiting people, but it just, they psychologically need to hear that they need to watch this video until the end. That's how that works. And if you, well, go, if you don't believe me, go to any top YouTuber and watch their intros and you will see all of them saying of course now this has become so cliche and even myself i cannot even watch youtube anymore because when i hear someone saying watch until the end i'm like no i'm clicking off immediately because i just know they're baiting me i just know that and it sounds pathetic at this point so you have to be original and yes i did say if you watch until the video but i don't even remember what i said oh i said that i'll reveal uh, tricks at the end yeah i said I, i'm gonna i'm gonna mention alternative ways of getting monetized which i will but um so yes i i did tell you to watch until the end and i gave you a reason to watch until the end and throughout the video i've been saying like you know um I'm, I'm, i would mention a tip then like yeah but we're gonna get back to it later so i constantly try to rehook the viewers meaning you guys i hope this it doesn't sound just terrible because like i'm just straight up telling you how i'm attempting to psychologically manipulate my viewers but yeah in order to do a lot of it honestly i am no psychology student by any means i'm i'm quite stupid i think but honestly if you think of it from like psychological perspectives and you just study that stuff it's gonna all like you're gonna see videos of others as like formulas you know when we went to high school and we would do mathematics and algebra and we would just look at formulas it is same exact stuff you just need to follow these things and your retention will go to it like if you at the very least again to summarize this tip i'm not gonna make it too long if you at least tell people straight up to watch until the end and you give them the reason or if you just like you know use this method because in this course in fact i never said watch until the end i just showed them what's coming and that just i believe increased and just like um the retention so let's move on to the next tip enough of blah 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 
before we actually move on to the next tip i just rewatched, rewinded it and i did forget to mention one thing i kind of mentioned but not exactly so really i don't care what you do in your video but you must you you must treat your first 30 seconds of the video like your life depends on it to prove my point you i i mean if you're learning from me if you're considering my opinion valuable of some kind go through my videos and analyze the first like 30 seconds you could watch my videos for longer of course because each is packed with value not clickbaiting to watch my videos maybe i am but uh the first 30 videos are truly crucial and you will see me doing some kind of a funny in my first 30 seconds i'll be like yeah let's go watch my videos let's go watch until the end you will see this at the end so basically what i'm i'm really just you know my rig i think at this point my regular viewers know what i'm doing that i'm just being a clown but for those random viewers that don't know me off me i'm trying i'm doing all i can to hook them that's it and it has to happen in the first 30 seconds if it does not this graph is going to go drop off and you'll get no views so there is it doesn't matter how good your video is yes it might be amazing in the middle of the video but if people don't watch the first 30 seconds they'll most of the people won't make it to the middle of the video so next thing before i'm done recording this part i just remembered something uh is you always want to have timestamps and i don't even you know obviously like like right here i literally it says intro just watch the whole video so if if you click on yeah so the ad interrupted me there but yeah if you click on the video you can say that like it the time steps on the timeline they show up uh but you know pe people just naturally again like i said earlier in the video everybody has adhd nowadays people are I'm impatient they just immediately want to skip through the video look around so as long as there are timestamps, it helps. First of all, I mean, if YouTube gives you the option to have timestamps, do have timestamps. Um, and yeah, it's just, again, people, they're gonna be like, what, watch the whole video? What is this guy talking about? And going back to the comments um, topic, I even got a few comments saying, people be like, oh, this guy has retarded timestamps. He's retarded. Um, little did they know i'm just trolling i'm just i'm literally making this on purpose to trigger comments and to boost my engagement so how you do comments i mean i'm sorry how you do timestamps you just hit dash you type in timestamps you hit dash again and just follow this format pause the video screenshot it save it super easy super simple now let's move on to the next tip so the next tip is kind of uh it's a little obvious here but you want to increase your session time meaning the amount of time that people spend on your channel or the amount of watch hours that you get now naturally you may tell me well how do i control that i don't i can't control that you can somewhat so first of all when a viewer lands on your video you want to make sure that you keep them on in your channel environment meaning you want to give them as many opportunities to stay on your channel as possible like i mentioned earlier now here if you can pay attention to my uh channel vi video description here you can see i have about four links at the top of the description linking to a playlist i, I always link the playlists everywhere so if you click on this you uh, you're landing on my uh, channel's playlist obviously and so if you click on just one of the video the, the videos are just going to keep rolling so therefore the viewer is going to stay in my playlist environment that means he's going to increase my watch time that means he's going to increase my watch hours that means he's going to make me more money and it's going to make youtube more money so duh obviously youtube is going to push my videos more i hope that makes sense that should make sense right so clearly um that's just a pr another bro that whoa, whoa, whoa i'm laying out some sauce here yo go subscribe on oh, god bro why why are you not still subscribed to me seriously where where else where else are you gonna get this information now okay enough of me being a clown how do you actually uh, create all of these things because it's not super obvious to people uh you literally just type in whatever text you want i'd be like devil youtube automation playlist and then in this case i'm gonna link the playlist to I mean, I'm gonna insert the link to the playlist. It just has to have the double dots, whatever it's called in English. Um, and if you just wanna link a normal video, you just go to the video, you copy the link, and then you just name it whatever. And then you, same format, just hit the link. And uh, yeah, that way they're just And just like that, guys. 
they're gonna have you know these hyperlinks and that's um it just works you see me also having timestamps like i'm literally doing everything i'm saying and i'm growing that way so um also you want to have the you know your user tags inserted you just it's the most simple way you just like you just type in the at and then you type in ai guy and you're just gonna pop up very simple very easy another thing i do is everything i just said but have it in the comments so i just in the comment i always have one link to youtube automation playlist in this case uh so that you don't have to refresh it every time uh, you know so as long as you're adding a relevant playlist to which you're constantly adding on videos you don't actually ever have to update this comment you just put in the link once and you forget it there's also a link to my buy me a coffee website by the way where you can buy me a coffee <clears throat> just saying anyway now let's move on to the next tip so the next tip on uh, how to increase your watch watch hours session just how to get more views is you use similar metadata and like you genuinely kind of make videos obviously in the same niche you don't have to always make videos in the same niche but uh you know clearly like for example my channels when you land on my main channel it's like clearly a how to make you know videos with ai using ai tools period uh, obviously yeah right um and i quite often use the same metadata same here uh this channel i guess i'm i don't even entirely sure myself what it's about it's kind of just documentation of me but i guess let's say it's just a how to make money online slash how to make money on youtube type channel um i mean clearly i got youtube revenue screenshots and like money and like no cap so um you know i'm kind of all making it kind of even though those are different videos they're kind of like connected to each other logically so if you watch this video and you enjoy it and you land on my channel you might as well watch this video like you i can totally see someone enjoying the two because they're so kind of similar on the same topic right um another thing you can build i did i did say use the same metadata here's, here's what i mean uh so when you go here you can use tags right later on and at the you know later on in this video we're gonna get back to creating tags it's time for you to comment i see what you did there uh but anyway i used i would use these tags and then i literally copy and then um and then i would apply it to this video because they are so similar they will naturally rank and what tags do is they basically when someone searches something so for example uh let's say someone searches on youtube how to get rich on you how to get rich on youtube you your video will rank in the search because you have this tag and so when uh someone lands on your video your similar videos are going to be here on the right side so people are gonna i hope it makes sense so because you use the same tags it's crucial for people uh let me actually close it off for a minute yeah so it's in another way to basically increase your uh, watch session let me move myself is to get somehow people to click on your videos on the right side and again if all of your videos are kind of in the same niche and they're all using same metadata or at least there are categories of your videos uh, that use same metadata that increases the chance another thing is if you go to my youtube channel you can see me doing a little thing here i have a period all of my videos go into a playlist period so um this is a podcast format type of period so I don't, I don't know the difference actually but again like i said previously if youtube gives me the option to create a podcast playlist i create the podcast playlist don't ask me why i just do it and then i just created name you know random playlist that i named popular videos and then uh, this is the uh, the playlist where i just add my daily videos the you know the documentation of me making it but i also have this full course playlist which this video is going to be a part of because duh it's a full course so okay let's say people land on my channel they get confused they're like oh he's this guy is making full courses and so they're gonna click on it and on the right side here they're gonna see a lot of courses so they will naturally scroll through them so yeah by having and myself i'm that kind of viewer actually when i land on someone's channel build i build up the content uh, you know i like to go to playlists and see if they got some categories cool, of again, videos the uh, because it saves people time like okay imagine they're it's their first time on their on, on your channel they don't know what you're doing here 
uh, I assume my channel uh, can confuse them. There is a better uh, example of this on my main channel. Yeah, so I have a lot of courses. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a lot of playlists here. So I got the dropshipping one and YouTube automation. And I got the full courses as well. And I got the, the one dedicated for creating shorts. And I got one for lo-fi channels. And I got one for news channels. I think you get the point by now. So let's move on to the next tip. All right, so the next tip I'm getting into here that will ultimately... Uh, you know bring you more subscribers is you need to work on increasing your click through rate now here's what i mean and before even we before we actually get into it let's talk about where and how are your videos even discovered so some of the things i already mentioned some i haven't obviously number one place for your video to be discovered is the home page so all of these videos that i'm seeing here i'm seeing them for a reason it means that myself i watched in the past channels of you know similar channels in my case it's like business slash editing slash like self-improvement whatever um so that's my current interests and that's what youtube is suggesting for me in podcasts interviews so the number one place for you to get discovered is homepage. number two is the search right so whenever you search something um you just you know let's say search for fortnite your video is ideally going to be show up here like i mentioned previously that that is also influenced by tags so the better your tag game is the higher the chance for you to show up here and later on in this video i'm going to tell you how to do the best tags so stay tuned for that uh so uh yeah another obviously another place for your videos to uh pop up is when you you know 11 months like i already mentioned on the right side here so but okay cool people see your videos but if they don't click on your videos there you will not get subscribers you will not get watch hours so click through rate it's called click through rate is one of the most if not the most crucial uh metric on youtube my current click through rate is about 4.7 percent on this live channel and given that i just don't care about my thumbnails and i just spend literally like less than five minutes to create the thumbnails is quite impressive let's see my main channel how it's doing uh this should be it should have a, a little higher click through rate i'm sure i i if i have to guess around six to seven percent uh currently five percent okay so but that's good as long as it's like four or five percent and above and you post and you're posting 10 minute plus videos and your uh, retention is at least 20 30 percent that is what i just laid out is the formula for you to go viral and get subscribers and your channel starts taking off um yeah that that's really write it down for you and you just need to post until you get to these metrics now i'm getting to the next tip so the next thing i see that happens a lot people would post like two videos you know five videos whatever 10 videos and then they they all get frustrated they come and commenting on my videos asking me for advice and then again i go to their channel and i see like only five low effort videos so i'm like bro come on are you serious so my top advice here is to post 33 videos at least better 35 40 videos that is from my experience when channels start getting traction uh, not only that as long as you're posting evergreen videos meaning videos that are going to be trending and getting views naturally organically for a long time uh your content library will build up so as you can see on the right side here i have um the views 48 hour views that are coming in so and they're all they all um made from these you know for, that's how it goes on youtube so you will not you will usually post a video right it'll get you know it's normal views it usually the spike usually goes like this and then it evens out but still even though like as long as, as your video is evergreen and is somewhat worth watching it'll still get views consistently and yo i post terrible videos and they get somewhat 20 views over 48 hours and guess what a week ago when my channel was just a little smaller they were getting like 10 views per 28 hours so i assume next week when my channel again grows just a little more is it going to be getting 30 40 50 views per 20 uh, per 48 hours you see what i'm saying so just create your content library you know don't get discouraged if your first five videos get no views okay so what who cares just just lay those 30 40 videos out and then we talk until until you have post like until you haven't posted 30 40 videos don't even cry about it just get to work and do it that's super crucial i had to say it out loud now we're ready for the next tip on how to get more subs
So before I move on to the next part of this course is the breakdown of the watch hours and the CPMs, RPMs and other bonuses. I want to just summarize briefly uh, this part of the course so far. Congratulations for making it so far. I mean, you're going to succeed on YouTube just as long as you keep watching and actually taking notes. So rule number one, stick to a single niche. Doesn't mean you have to create something about like super, super niche down. I actually don't suggest you to do that. But like, again, for example, on my main channel, I'm making how to AI videos, whatever it is, as long as it has AI in it, I'm giving myself creating freedom to do whatever I want. Again, it has to have AI on this channel. I'm making, you know, how to make money online, how to make money on YouTube type videos. Again, I could, I could show showcase the tools in order to get there, or I can upload a course on YouTube monetization, but it, it's all under the same categories as far as I understand. Uh, the next thing is just be consistent, grind it out, upload at least 33 videos. They should be, you know, strategically of high quality. One thing I didn't mention, post at least one time a week. If you can post twice a week, if you, if you can go ham like me, post every single day. In fact, I believe the reason that I post every single day is part of the reason why I grow so fast. So if you can handle it, do it every day. It's not that easy, trust me, uh, but give it a try. Just don't burn out. Get enough sleep. Don't burn out. Uh, just always analyze, really keep track of your metrics. Uh, CP, I mean, not CPM, uh, CTR, click through rate. Your retention rate is important. Uh, aim for 6% on the click through rate and 30% uh, on the retention rate. That'd be great. The more, the better you want to get 60 ideally. And before I actually close off the how to get thousand subs section, I want to tell you what not to do. I'm not going to add the timestamp for what I'm about to say. So it's only going to be seen by those who are truly watching this course and paying attention. So what not to do, please never under no circumstances, do not get sub for sub, do not bot followers. Do not buy followers. Do not buy likes. Don't do none of this artificial sketchy stuff. Your growth must be organic. Don't ask your friends to watch your videos on repeat. In fact, when you're starting out, don't even send your videos to your friends or family members because they are not your target viewers. Allow the algorithm to organically discover your videos. I know people are still going to do it, but like, just don't be that person. Even in my Telegram group, uh, people ask me all the time, I bought followers, what should I do now? I'm like, did I tell you to buy followers? Who told you to buy followers? Why Why are you so stupid that you had to do it? Like, this is my genuine reaction. Um, yes, it works on Instagram, for example. If you want to grow a theme page on Instagram, it works on there. On YouTube, don't ever do that. N under no circumstances. I I'm looking out for you. If you do that, that's on you. You're silly for that, truly. So with all of that being said, we are officially done with the first part of this course where I explain to you guys how to get, how to attempt to get your first 1000 subscribers as quickly as possible. I hope I answered all the possible questions and I truly tried to cover everything there is to cover. However, I, I just know you're going to have some questions. So let me know down in the comments. If you do, I know what you did there. But yo, anyway, uh, let's continue. Now we're uh, moving on to the second part of this course. I'm going to explain to you everything there is to explain. At least I'll try to about the watch hours, how to get them, how they work. And then we're going to talk about CPMs, RPMs, alternative ways of getting monetized and SEO keywords, all that good stuff towards the end. I know what you did there. So again, uh, in order to get the 4,000 watch hours, you, like I said previously, it's just self-explanatory, but I'll just say it again in case someone did skip. Um, 4,000 watch hours, you need to get them in the last 365 days. You can only get them from your long form videos. Okay. Uh, it, and it's actually so easy to get them. You, you might think, and yes, again, on my main channel, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it took me five months. I actually got my subscribers relatively quickly, maybe in one, two months. It wasn't that hard, but the watch hours, came hard to me really did uh, but like i experienced with, with this channel and watching right now i got monetized in 36 days so it is really not that hard so let's already get into it i cannot wait for the next part the third part where i explain to you the, the how i actually did it um i know what you did there so before i actually get into the part of this course where, where i actually break down the tips of how to get those 4,000 watch hours i wanted to really first break down 
this number for you so it's easier for you psychologically going into this because trust me it's really not that much 4000 watch hours i mean at this point on my main channel i have some of the videos accumulating like over 20,000 watch hours just one video alone so it's really not that much so if we break it down now stay patient uh, stay patient please it's it's gonna be easy to understand so um if we break it down by minutes 4,000 watch hours is 240,000 minutes right very easy uh, now at the beginning of the video remember i told you to aim for the 60 hour uh, 60 percent retention rate but that's the kind of retention rate mr beast gets like it, realistically as a beginner uh, you will never ever uh, get this kind of retention rate. So I took, remember I said 30%. It's really easy to get. Like as long as you use the hooking techniques I told you about, you treat this first 30%, I, I'm sorry, uh, like 30 second of the video as gold. And as long as you just hook the viewers, you take care of your thumbnails. Uh, before I dropped an actual thumbnail course, you can just Google how to make thumbnails. You can learn it. I mean, you know, it's not that hard. As long as you apply it, all the formulas I have given you so far, trust me, getting the 30% retention rate will be nothing. So as long as you do that, we're left off with 80,000 minutes. So I'm sorry, uh, 80,000 views needed across all of your videos. Okay. Now, I hope that's clear so far. So again, just as long as you keep your retention rate at 30%, all you need is 80,000 views. Now, Remember I told you the 33 video rule, 33 to 40 video rule. At by the point uh, by you know by the point you post 33 videos at least and as long as they're like about 10 minutes long, you're going to need 2000 views per video, which is nothing. As, again, as long as you're choosing a trending niche, as long as you're doing good thumbnails, as long as you're doing your tags right, which we'll get into this video, SEO keywords, all that good stuff. Uh, trust me, this number is nothing, but okay, let's say you're a complete degenerate and you just, you're just you not getting views. It's coming hard to you. That's very much a possibility too. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat you. You might, you know, it took me in general over eight years to get to the point where I just blow up channels in a month. Um, it doesn't happen overnight or even over month. Okay, so let's say it's going to take you a hundred videos. You know, you're going to spend half a year grinding out, posting every three days. It's very realistic and it's not that hard. In that case, you're going to need only 800 views per video, which come on. By the point you're going to post 100 videos, one of them is just going to blow up inevitably. So as long as the work and consistency is there, it's something I say in every video, probably the word consistency you hear from me just, and, and other people too, it's just so important. You know, basically the work has to go in. I never mentioned, by the way, in this course that in general, YouTube is not for lazy people. I mean, if you probably watched it, made it at this point in the course, it's probably been like an hour already. I don't think you're lazy, but nonetheless, um, just the work has to be there. OK, and consistency and aiming for retention at every single really up to now. What I want you to do, I hope you've been taking notes. If not, you're going to have to rewatch this course, take notes on actually like the key points I've given so far. And because it, it's like formulas, I'm literally giving you formulas. It's like, remember in high school, in algebra class, like, you know, X plus two equals five. You need to understand this formula and, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, literally like it's same thing, you know, X plus two equals five. Now, how do we find out what X means? We move over to here. So five minus two equals three, X equals three. YouTube is like this. It's like formulas. It is that simple. I hope now it makes complete sense. Now let's actually get to the tips on how to get these watch hours because I don't want this to, to turn into a math lesson. But for me, everything with numbers, it makes complete sense. So the first tip of the 4,000 watch hour part, and I already kind of mentioned it here and there throughout the course, but it is so important that I actually want to mention it again is you want to make long videos and let me break it down what it means long videos you want to make at least eight minute videos for several reasons uh, first of all well you want to get paid right so whenever you do get monetized actually you can place uh two ads or more uh or you can actually manually add ad breaks to your videos now let me let me actually show you i can showcase what exactly i mean by that so if we let's say we go to youtube right I can literally go to some of my videos and I can manually add 
breaks them like i just said moments ago um uh, again ideally if you can make videos that are an, <clears throat> at least an hour right because uh look so review placements and uh, i honestly i place them automatically or if the video is like at least 15 minute long i place one at break and uh, start in the in the middle and at the end when i just started out like i was being like this you know i would literally go ham on ad breaks like i would literally add them every like five seconds like my entire video would be packed with ad breaks don't do that because placing too many ad breaks can actually harm your videos and youtube will not allow like if you think you just you can just place them like pack your video with the ads and youtube will just play all the ads not really uh statistically uh anyway every viewer sees like one ad per video or even one ad per two videos so regardless of how many ads you place so just allow youtube to place the ad automatically uh, think about it this way youtube wants to make as much money as possible as possible obviously because it's a business while giving you as much money as possible because you are what makes youtube money but ultimately youtube wants the viewer to have the best possible experience and for that they have algorithms ai essentially like this all of this the place automatically is ai so it's machine learning and it's learned you know billions of I, I i don't know exactly how many videos are get you know get watched per day but like youtube has enough data to work with to understand uh, i hope it makes sense all right so it, it's all kind of obvious but uh, shoot for longer videos again because also there's just so many factors uh pushing benefits in the longer videos and very few factors benefiting the short videos you know maybe in 2016 in the logan paul era everybody was making like four minute videos that these times have gone i understand it's easier to make four minute videos sure but and also think about it this way let's say uh going back to retention someone watches just 10% of your 10 minute video and 10% of your one minute video that's a one minute you know and in the case of a 10 minute video that's like one minute attributed to your watch time and in case of a one minute video that's just 10 seconds which is nothing or if you post a uh, one hour video that's a whole 10 minutes attributed to your watch hours so by all means post long videos of at least 10 minutes ideally 20 plus minutes D depending on the niche of course yeah if it's a tutorial niche post absurdly long videos they just work uh but make sure to pack them with value that's also a crucial thing but we'll get back to it later so the next tip is to make top 10 videos for example uh let's say we're making a top 10 cars video top 10 dogs video top 10 places to visit top 10 cities to visit there are literally endless topics if you run out of ideas just go to chat gpt let's say you, by the way you could create a top 10 channel yes there are so many of them but they're so easy to grow there is a reason why there's so many of them you can go to chat gpt ask it for like endless ideas and then replicate model the existing successful videos and then i just laid out the the perfect formula for you so and then you know let's say you start off the video hey this is top 10 cars video make sure to watch until the end to find out what the best car is and then you go from worst to the best and then it's so easy to make as well another cool thing about it is that you know let's say you're making a 10 minute video about top 10 cars right obviously so you need just on average one minute per car obviously right like 10 parts one minute each adds up to around 10 minutes you can make it two minutes each uh that's already a 20 minute video for you and really per car you need to make two minutes and then you can just like okay let's say ultimately you will have to make a two minute video okay like let's say whatever we use a ferrari for the first uh example you explain the engine you explain the the best colors whatever the best manufacturer and then you literally take another the next car you explain this car's engine colors manufacture whatever or you know if, if girls are watching me you know let's say we do some kind of beauty vlog you know and then we do top 10 dressing makeup brands you know and then you take this brand and you explain what color what pricing is the best where to buy and it's so easy you just come up with the formula and then you apply this formula 10 times throughout your video so it's like formula under formulas it's so easy 
to implement and that's already like few hours of work and you you have several watch hours and i guarantee you it gets clicks because people are curious the top 10 videos are always getting watched so it's an amazing niche if you want to go mainstream with youtube i suggest you to try it the next tip is to utilize playlists correctly so what you want to do is again let's use the example of uh, the top 10 channels so let's say we're doing a car channel okay we're only about cars so let's say we can create a, a, a dedicated playlist for the top 10 cars videos okay so in this videos we're only doing top 10 cars we can let's say create another playlist for comparisons so let's say we create the type of videos not top 10 but like we just compare you know lamborghini and ferrari bmw and mercedes these type of videos and then we allocate them to each playlist correctly and so again like i said previously in the video in the course utilizing playlists is so crucial it boosts your uh, watch hours it boosts your watch sessions for the viewers and ultimately pushes out your videos more to the algorithm that's all you want so um and uh, there are also ways to utilize playlists so let me just switch my scenes real quick so as you can see right here i have playlists featured on my uh home page this full course right here i thought it usually looks different yes so i have a playlist featured right here meaning if you click on this video you're automatically hooked into the playlist so yeah and once you're done watching this one youtube will automatically push you to this uh playlist right here that's it it's that simple which again everything ultimately boosts your watch time now another pro tip is to include links to your playlists in the cards when you upload the videos and uh, put playlists in the end screens so when people get to the end of your video they have the option to manually click on that playlist and again end up in the in playlist environment and get trapped and uh, watch more of your videos that way so the next tip which is kind of similar to playlists but not quite is to have uh, a popular up, uh, popular video section so in order to do it you just go to your uh, youtube studio right and right here in customization tab you click on add section and then you're gonna click on uh where is it popular videos right here so this is this section right here and then uh, adjust it at the top i suggest to have it at the top and so obviously as soon as someone lands on your page the the first thing they're gonna have is the popular videos so and that's uh you know and it's good for them because obviously the popular videos are those that have proven to work so you want the people to watch them and it just further boosts the views and when i say you want people to watch them it means they kind of proven to work so uh, they won't get disappointed they will immediately watch the best stuff that you have to offer and you know they can see right here also this is the for you section recently added from youtube it recommends the best stuff for the viewer as per their needs kind of the customized but yeah you always have to want to have the popular section right here right underneath i have the full course and then i have just the videos and then if you have other channels that you're featuring do so right here also you can add the according section everything is here it's very self-explanatory now the next tip you can do is actually doing live streams uh you can just literally go to content live and uh, you can start a live stream from here but you can actually see um i'm done a live stream myself i just uh put it away because uh, I don't know, I, I I don't want this to, it's kind of too raw for just two people to see in their homepage. But as you can see, it brought me just two watch hours, probably because it was from shorts. And that's why. But uh, if you're streaming from computer, trust me, it's going to bring you a lot of watch hours. So it's it's a good thing. It's never going to hurt. And I don't, I'm not into live stream. That's why I don't do them really. But uh, if you're confident about it, just go for it. It's another great, amazing way to accumulate watch hours quickly because obviously when people land on your live stream they just tend to watch it for longer duh obviously than a video because you know it's live they don't know what's what's about to happen so they, they're just gonna stay um also if you can connect donation alerts that's a way for you to monetize your channel alternatively uh, but yeah let's move on to the next tip so first of all for the next tip i'm going to repeat something i already said before and then i'm going to tell you what to do further with this information obviously again just get to work i mean upload at least 30 to 40 videos if you upload 10 videos don't get discouraged don't start commenting you know writing to other people why are my videos not working because it's just how it is it's part of the game 
don't bro like don't expect to get rich overnight don't expect your first five videos to go viral i mean look at me i'm literally by the time i'm monetized i have 50 videos on my channel long form videos i am i i mean what i say by it you know and i'm and i only have made from this channel um what 30 dollars this is only the beginning and in order to get to that beginning stage i have I had to put out 50 videos and, and it was a lot of work, you know, two hour video, six hour video. There's other long video, two hour video, like one hour video. You know, I'm not, I'm not just saying it, I'm doing it and it works clearly. So, but okay. Once you have, if, if let's say you put out 30, 40 videos and, um, and then what you need to do is you double down on what works. This is kind of me right now recording this course is doubling down on what works because I understood it for me personally, long videos, they just work. They just do. So that's a clearly a demonstration of me doubling down. Now, uh, here's how you recognize a um, successful video. Obviously the one that has the most views, but uh, uh, look at also at the views to retention ratio. So, you know, um, for example, I would consider the most successful video, maybe this one, because it's just done 7,000 views in three days. And this video, for example, even though it has a little more views, but it's done these views in a month. And this video has done these views in three days. So I consider this video to be my most successful by far. So I'm kind of replicating the same style, even though I'm serving completely different information, but the style stays the same and the techniques I'm using. So. I hope you get my point. So uh, another pro tip is uh, take care of your channel trailer. I, I always change it. You always want to have the right video in it. Typically what I do is I have my most recent slash best performing videos as the channel trailer. So when someone lands on my channel, they can immediately start watching my, you know, currently best performing video, if it makes sense. Same thing on my main channel. Um, so yeah, as you can see, same thing on my main channel. Uh, I have my most re like, even though, okay, this video has only done 20,000 views in 11 days, it still hasn't accumulated most of the views because you see these videos, they have done tens of thousands of views by now, hundreds of thousands, some of them, uh, but this video is still very fresh and the way it's getting views, like I know it's going to get to the hundred, 200,000 level, uh, in, in a few weeks and a few months, maybe. So by featuring it as the channel trailer, I'm only boosting this video and I'm really just immediately like when a new person lands on my channel, I'm like, bam, here's value for you, you know? So same here, same here. Just, uh, and the, the way you do it, so you go to customize channel, right? And same here, customization, you just choose um, the video. Yeah. So I only suggest it to do for those who have not subscribed, for those, for ret returning viewers, just leave it blank. Um, let the returning view like because if they return they already know what they're coming back for right makes sense so let them just select the video because it it can it can hurt you actually as well if they watch it or if they if the video is displayed to them but they don't watch it it, it hurts the video so you only show it to your new viewers okay now let's move on to the bonus tip again to prove my point to just continue posting to post at least 30 40 videos to not ever give up is i just want to say that growth on youtube is exponential just look at this like look at this graph uh i had no views practically the, this spike by the way i just posted a youtube short that was completely meaningless same here so completely ignore these two spikes in fact i just had no growth like okay it was it was like this like this like this and then boom you know so like the boom i mean this and it took me again from early early september september actually late august to around uh, late november early december to see any kind of growth and had i ever given up at any point right here i would not be sitting in front of you right here because i'd probably be back at my restaurant job right now making pizzas like a complete degenerate but here i am as a youtuber as crazy as it sounds because to me it still sounds crazy you guys have to understand half a year ago for those who, again, for the new viewers, I used to work at a restaurant making pizzas half a year ago. Now this is what I'm doing. And all it took is consistency and just genuinely applying myself and not ever giving up at any point on my channel. Now two channels. So it's, it's so simple yet so crucial. And it's the number one uh, problem that I see across many channels is just lack of consistency and effort. So honestly, if you, if you are not willing to be consistent and if you're not willing to go all in, don't bother 
everything I had I've said so far is irrelevant without your consistency and just like animal desire to crush it completely you know you need to have a fire inside of you and that's the, that's not something you can buy and that's not something you can just download from the internet for free you know that's something that has to be inside of you that and so I guess this will be my last bonus tip uh, finishing up this watch hour session I mean watch hour part of the course and again it's it's, it's rather motivational again um, like kind of a storyline again this is what I'm doing on this channel and it's working out just perfectly and the the channel is booming where is it right here so again for uh, this video is just gonna have a lot of new viewers so I'm, I'm, I apologize for repeating myself but just hear me out in this video right here I basically announced a challenge or I gave myself a reason to post every single day right here day one 365 of becoming YouTube billionaire it's a 20 minute video long story short in this video I announced a challenge I, I listed goals for myself for the year ahead um, and basically I'm posting videos every single day yes I'm not actually you know I do post like within okay every 30 hour span like sometimes my videos are late I mean I'm recording videos every single day just sometimes they're late uh, so for example you know you can see where is it I want to find uh, just stay with me here yeah so for example you can see two videos were posted on March 7th and no video was posted on March 6th and this video you're watching right now is going to be a day late but who cares it's mostly like you know I doubt my subscribers are actually sitting there like oh this guy's late the time is now for for the video I don't I don't think anybody cares but it's a great reason for you to first of all to stay consistent uh, and it just creates this kind of a narrative around your channel this boosts your community it creates your community in the first place you know because actually yeah I did have a few comments people asking me where's the video <laughs> you know it's awesome I appreciate you guys but that's how it goes so again I'm just going hard at this point I I, I quit the job in order to start posting daily I really went all in I understand that some people have families to take care of um, or just other stuff but I literally put everything aside to become one of the biggest youtubers and I just really have the goal to change this educational my um, how to make money online industry and so I have crazy goals that's why I'm doing it I'm just ambitious like that not everybody's like that but it's it, you kind of have to be you know insane you have to be crazy to an extent to really make it all work out um, I'm not calling myself a psychopath but you can't you just really have to be obsessed about it um, re really give it your fullest or otherwise again like I said don't even bother because you will end up uh, being disappointed and just wasting your time honestly uh, but if you are like if you're just willing to go like Spartan mode like monk mode and just like completely filter out all the noise around you and just just do it you will do it so how did I gosh, actually get monetized in just 36 days so right away uh, I you know I already had my main channel existing right AI guy this one right here so and uh, this is not and on on the AI guy channel I'm making you know AI content editing content and you, you see a coincidence here right I made a six hour course teaching AI stuff of course I made the video and then I immediately posted the links on my existing main channel so right away I brought a lot of traffic from my main channel on top of that I have my telegram group this is not my sneaky way to promote it but I'm just saying that I have this uh, free to join telegram group right which has now 3,000 members maybe at the time it had like 2,500 members and so I, sp I started spamming the link by the way if you guys want to join this is just AI guy chat um, so I started spamming the link in this community and saying hey I created a new channel go join the channel now this is this is the best way to do it now okay I'm not I understand most of you don't already have an existing main channel most of you don't have an, an existing AI group and a lot of people actually have been telling me yeah you got monetized so fast because you have advantage you had other channel so what stops you from running two channels that are in the same niche that can be really you know uh, like this just uh, how what's the English word like you know um, the, the viewers can be combined so to speak um, what is stopping you guys from doing that of course when you're starting out so what I'm saying is be creative don't just post your video and expect the viewers to roll in they will eventually but 
after five months as i've learned from my first channel so if you have no main channel in the first place uh start start an instagram account start a tiktok page tiktok is the best place to really go viral quickly so what you can do for example is you take your long form videos that you're posting on your new channel and you can start posting them on tiktok and of course linking and mentioning the youtube everywhere and you know obviously your game here is to bring the traffic from tiktok to youtube also you can find what i did actually i would go to other compet competitors uh, youtube channels and i would find their discords and then i would go to their discords and i would spam my link um, in their discord servers now right away if you're gonna go into my telegram group and you're gonna spam your link i'll ban you immediately don't do that uh, i don't tolerate this but but there are many youtubers that have discord servers with active members but they don't just they don't care about their service however there's already a community just sitting there waiting to be interacted entertained you know so just do some research um there's many people like that uh, be creative about it okay the the whole strategy of like combining the two channels i straight up stole it from mr beast for example what i mean by by it is mr beast he created his first his main channel then i don't know the exact order of creating the channels but i know for a fact he has mr beast reacts mr beast uh gaming mr beast philanthropy and what doesn't he have as far as i'm concerned he's currently running over 30 50 channels um so this is this is already we're going into building a youtube empire this is not even a uh running a one funny channel and getting it monetized like i am building an empire business you know and this is the foundation of it so you can do the same and so create channels where and this is actually the mistake i made i was i, I just remembered i want to uh, show it to you so if you go to my main channel uh, this was AI Guy Vibes. This is one of my channels. And I created AI Guy and then AI Guy Vibes. And this is like a music channel where I posted like AI animations. It's currently on pause. I'm going to also run it when I have time. But um, so I would try to send the viewers from AI Guy to this channel. And it wasn't really growing. They weren't really engaged with the channel. And so I was like, well, what's wrong? Why aren't they engaged? Like, duh, because then I understood that they are not engaged because, um, well, it's a music channel. And the the main channel is like tutorial AI channel. So, and then I well, yeah, improved yeah. myself and I started posting on this channel. I literally started posting, you know, AI tutorials, how to make money online tutorials, because I think, you know, ultimately everybody who would watch an AI tutorial wants to watch a how to make money online tutorial as well it's it's logical so once i clicked that you know once it clicked in my head once i figured that out and uh, this channel started taking off so realistically realistically you will probably not get monetized in 36 days but you can do your best to do that you can realistically if you apply all the tips i'm giving you so far and i'm not even done closely with the video where there's more many more tips to come but this is just a podcast section where i just really wanted to lay this out just I, honestly i think there is no problem to get monetized that way in 60 to 90 days if you post daily if you post at least 10 12 minute videos if they're packed with value if they're if you're using hooks if your thumbnails are clickable look at my thumbnails i mean they are not all made in photoshop they're not professionally made like this is li literally me just come like putting on top of each other five screenshots and that's it and they get around six percent click through rate which is insane to me these are so low effort and they work this is just a picture okay i got 800 views let's just look at my popular videos so i mean again just a screenshot and a couple of arrows 7k views just picture of money picture of me 7k views and it's trending you this is literally a screenshot same here like it does not have to be so fancy you just have to get to posting and you have to be providing value to people and you have to be making genuinely long videos the reason i'm making here here and there like three minute videos you know um because i'm posting every day and i get tired and i have other things to do so i'm making exceptions for myself but i'm not just chasing money uh three minute videos are also good to have for like 
alternative. So the next mistake I've made myself and I see other people make is people guess, meaning instead of using proven to work content, they start experimenting. Now experimenting is good, don't get me wrong. You can, you should and can have creative mindset once you get to a certain level of understanding general things. When you're starting out, you really should be all about implementing formulas, so to speak. So again, if you're going for like a mainstream niche, if we look up top 10 cars, the pop, the most popular videos I'm seeing, this one, for example, right away, and this one, I just see a blank picture of a stunning car, high quality, really close up, this one and this one. So guess what your thumbnail should be, your first thumbnail. Should it have tiny text and a lot of like arrows pointing everywhere or should it have like a nice gigantic picture of a car like all up in your face, high resolution? Probably. Let's look at the title format. Top 10 craziest cars. Okay, whatever concepts. World's coolest concept cars. Well, let's look some more. Top 10, a ton, uh, I'm sorry, 10 most unusual vehicles. Um, top 10 strangest cars ever made. So what should you, what should your first title be? Top 10 cars blank or best ever cars made by humanity in my top 10 list, you know, because I see that a lot of people make this mistake too. Again, top 10 most expensive cars crash test, simple, short, concise to the point just like it should and yeah for the most part all of these thumbnails are just again cars close up looking clean high resolution so that just analyze your niche first before going into it look at how they make their uh, descriptions as well analyze all of this information now here's the thing the next kind of sub tip uh you need to make sure you're truly providing value now here's what i mean and especially like myself i'm into educational niche because i think it's Generally speaking, actually, I want to give you guys an advice. If you're an expert in something, going into educational niches is amazing because opportunity is huge right now. Uh, I think the whole world is kind of transitioning from like traditional schools and universities to YouTube education and like online education because it's just so much more useful and more accessible to anybody anywhere in the world as long as you have internet connection. But that's just my opinion. So that is why I'm in the, in, in the educational niche. And so uh, the way I analyze my videos nowadays and if I'm going to this, like sometimes I'm just being creative and I'm like, okay, I have an idea. I don't even know if there is competition for this video. I'm just going to make the video. But for example, the video I made right now, I've actually analyzed my competition, what the competitors are providing in a similar kind of videos. And I've analyzed their, uh, you know, points throughout their videos. And I'm like, okay, well, I can do this better. I seriously saw it's like a market you just really need to evaluate your competition and then you you recognize where you can do, do something just slightly better and serve higher value to your audience it doesn't mean you have to be a genius again you just need to be good enough and you will get your views and you will get monetized in no hours because when people see value in your videos they will watch your videos all the way to the end and then leave a comment which boosts the channel and starts the snowball effect. All it takes is just for one, two, three viewers to click on your video, watch it fully, and there it goes. It's really not that hard. So value is over everything, really, uh, when it comes to packaging your videos. If so if next thing I wanna mention is make sure your videos can get monetized in the first place. So a lot of th um, a very common problem I see people asking me in the comments, they would uh, write the following comment, hey, my channel didn't get monetized, what's my issue? And then I would open their channel and all they're doing, they're just re-uploading streamers compilation of like I show speed. And then I'm like, seriously. So what I'm trying to say here, is, uh, I understand where they're coming from. I don't encourage it. I don't you know, appreciate them doing it, but they're just probably lazy and they don't want to record their own videos and they just re-uploading videos of others. So uh, where I'm going with this, you really should be uploading the, the videos that you're making yourself like I'm doing right now. You know, YouTube, nobody on this planet can strike me because like I am the one creating this video. This video is legally mine. Nobody but me owns this video. So and that will help me to build my uh, YouTube channel as a long-term business because the video I'm creating right now will be generating me money for years to come because 
the topic of getting monetized on YouTube will stay relevant for a very long time. And with the correct SEO and keywords, which we'll cover soon, by the way, um, it will still uh, help it to stay relevant again for a long time. So make sure you use your own content. Don't like re-upload from TikTok. Generally speaking, create family friendly content. You know, I try not to swear in my videos. I do sometimes, but I genuinely don't as much as I want to sometimes. It can lead to demonetization or if not full demonetization, it can lead to reduced payouts because obviously if you swear in your videos, you know, YouTube algorithms detect it and they, you know, limit the ads to only like adults. So, you know, if someone like under 18 watches your video, let's say a 17 year old guy or girl, they can clearly take an, an F word here and there, right? But they're grown enough, but YouTube will not show ads for them, if it makes sense. So just use common sense, really. Just treat it not as a quick side hustle, but as something that you're gonna watch like, Okay, I know that when I watch the particular video I'm creating right now, in 30 years from now, I'll be like, this is cool. I'm, I'm glad I made this video, you know? You should you should feel this way. But if you're gonna do a lazy job, steal someone's video from TikTok and re-upload it, are you gonna be proud of it? That's, that's really the mindset you should have going into YouTube and they really help you to build it again as a long-term sustainable business. So before I logically finish this part of the course and move on to the next one, I really want to just give you again the most key points. You better write them down because they are just the most crucial. Number one is make sure your niche has worked on YouTube in the past and that there is competition. Yeah, competition is good. It might sound crazy, but trust me, it's better to have competition because let's say, you know, again, you're competing with someone's video and then when a, a potential viewer watches their video, it just increases the chances of your video getting shown up like in the feed of that viewer, right? Whereas if you're making something where there is no videos whatsoever and the niche is like non-existent, you might think it's good, but it's actually not because there is no viewers. So you need to consider viewer cap. Uh, the next thing is just post at least 30 videos before you even consider giving up. Just don't give up ever, but 30 videos is like the minimum, period. Uh, analyze your analytics all the time. Double down on what works. Do that. Follow the monetization rules. Family friendly content is the key. It will get pushed more. Think about it. All the most popular YouTubers are more or less in the family friendly content niche. How often you see videos that include like the horrible stuff, blood, you know, other stuff cuss words you don't really see them on the home page do you it's for a reason and always be creative uh think of alternative link uh, ways to get traffic from do cross platforming you know find discord service with your target niche when you're just starting out really go the extra mile to get discovered in the first place uh also cr start creating don't be lazy create like affiliate network links immediately as you start out it'll pay off in the long long run trust me so now I'm going to talk about CPM and RPM, what these are uh, and uh, how, you know, how you can make money of them. What's uh, how, how, first of all, let's break it down. Basically, uh, CPM is just a metric you shouldn't worry about. CPM is what advertisers, advertisers pay to YouTube directly. And RPM is actually what YouTube pays you per thousand views. Let's just put it in the most simple terms. So average RPM on YouTube is a, between one dollar to like three dollars that's really average for like entertainment niche for like mainstream niche uh it also greatly depends on your audience like geographically speaking uh, you always want to you really want to make content in english language like for example my native language is russian and i could be making content in russian in fact i would prefer to make it in, in russian because again it's just my native language I could be so much more ex expressive in it, you know what I mean? And it, you know, I'm sure you've heard a lot of other YouTubers before with funny accent and they could all be making uh, videos in their native languages, but everybody who is able to, who speaks English good enough, everybody makes content in English for a reason is because they are all able to target the United States market, United States, Norway, Sweden, Germany, Australia, UK, generally speaking, those are the markets. They're all equally uh, high paying, but United States is just number one because 
um, because of just how many people there is, you know, 300 plus million people that could potentially watch your videos. If we're talking mainstream, if not still there, it's the biggest audience. Okay. So, um, yeah, if you can make content in English, yeah, even, even if you speak another language, doesn't matter. Now it also greatly depends on the niche, of course. Uh, so if you're making funny videos, reaction videos, don't ever expect to get $10 RPM. However, if you're making finance videos or like crypto videos or drop shipping videos, um, your RPM could be as high as 10, 20, $50. I've seen some people having 500 RPM on finance videos in particular crypto videos. That's why I'm really soon starting a crypto channel as well, because the payouts there are just stupid. Like they make no sense, but, 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 but that's equivalent to the view cap. You know, don't just think you're going to like, I can already see you there with the calculator, you know, multiplying 1 million views by $20 RPM. There is a catch. It's kind of equivalent. So, you know, let's say with a $2 RPM, in a mainstream entertainment niche, the view cap is so high. So you could easily get 5 million views and get whatever, $10,000 for it. If I, yeah, about so. But like, if you're making video in crypto and finance, the view cap is much lower, meaning there is just way less people that are potentially there to join your video. And you really need to go the extra mile. You need to just, you know, it's so, so hard to, it is, in fact, an insane achievement to make a video about crypto, let's say, and get millions of views on it. Or in order to get these kind of numbers, it just takes years to build up your channel in the first place. So, <clears throat> of course, it depends on what you want to do. It depends on your expertise. There are ups and downs for each of the side. I prefer to just niche down and I prefer to make finance videos you know educational videos because it just interests me i don't want to go and take the route of like mainstream entertainment niches like mr beast because i feel like there is no soul in these videos they're just becoming like a mainstream content factories like you know that it's not interesting to me but i'm not saying there's something wrong with it or there is no money to be made there is just as much money to be made as in smaller niches but uh right now i'm just gonna name a list the highest paying uh niches known to me on youtube and uh yeah they really are highest paying so finance whatever how to make money online videos crypto videos forex videos stocks business um even me like the video you're watching right now is probably gonna be paid as a how to make money online niche so uh, the rpm for me on this video is gonna be in you know in the highest segment possible so that's a clear example of a how to make money online video like i'm not necessarily you know showing bank transactions here but uh it's still it's going to be in the top dollar segment okay uh with that said obviously technology is in a very high rpm niche so whatever technology like you know uh, laptop unboxing videos gadgets unboxing videos uh, like I mentioned, drop shipping is super expensive. Uh, the next thing would probably be health. Uh, it pays very well. I mean, obviously, I'll just run it down real quick. Investing. You better be taking notes, by the way. So I'll start again. Finance, how to make money online, technology, health, investing, traveling, um, whatever. Tra yeah, it might be surprising. Traveling blogs, but mostly there for adult audiences. So that's why. Uh, legal, meaning like, you know, lawyers. If you're if you're a professional, like let's say you're working as a lawyer or you know something that not like a lot of people know, uh, or like you're an insurance agent, this is an amazing opportunity for you. Or videos about like uh, marketing or cars, affiliate marketing is incredibly expensive. Uh, tutorials, how to make uh, websites, running websites real estate movies so as i mentioned at the start of the video i'm gonna now i'm gonna talk about an ai tool which is for me it's a lifesaver now there's gonna be a link in the description 
which you can hit and uh, I'll be transparent right away. This is not a scam. It's not like a hidden product placement. This video is not sponsored by them. Without this deal, I mean, with my deal, of course, you can uh, try it out for just a dollar for the first month. If you don't like it, that's cool. If you like it, you can continue using it. Uh, but without the first dollar, it's actually the first month will be $50. So it's a great opportunity for you to try it out without, I mean, what is it? Like $1, I think it's uh, much of a risk. But anyways, so the way you can use it, it's actually amazing. So first of all, you can just analyze the keywords in your niche you can connect your account like i did right here and then it just shows you the top keywords in your niche so then you can just literally copy them and put them in your seo uh, next thing is you can uh, what i do mostly so for example uh let literally let me demonstrate how i can use it how i'm gonna use it very soon so i'm currently making a video right like how to get monetized on youtube so i'm literally gonna ask it so I'm making a video, right? Um, how to get monetized on YouTube fast. Provide me with trending keywords and uh, text to rank on SEO. And there we go. It's going to analyze the data of my channel, right? And then it's going to provide me with words that will actually help my video to take off. Then all I got to do is just copy them one by one and put it in, in the um, um, tags section. And that's how you trend in SEO. Literally hours of work and manual research was done like that for me. Again, this is not a hidden or like paid for sponsorship. They don't even know I'm making this video right now, uh, but it's truly a game changer. I mean, there are many AI tools that are really just marketing that can be avoided and there are free alternatives. But this IVIDIQ is one of those that just cannot be avoided, cannot be replaced, at least in my opinion. It... All right, now we're ready to move on to the next step. So again, if you use that link, um, it will support my channel. I will earn a small commission and it's a great way for you to sort of um, give back for me to providing all this value in the course. You don't have to absolutely. Uh, but if you actually want to take YouTube seriously, VidIQ is just an essential. Now let's move on. So you can actually get monetized before officially hitting the ad revenue requirements. Um, I mean, I'm not saying there is a cheat code into bypassing it and getting monetized from ad revenue sooner. Uh, rather you can establish an affiliate network you can sell a course even though i despise um, paid courses but many people do it uh, you can start a private community so i can tell you what i've personally done and actually I started doing before i even was monetized so first of all i started uh run you know launching my affiliate network so obviously when just someone hits the link in the description um you earn a commission of whatever you're selling a service or a physical product it's typically between 15 to 25 percent commission if it's a service based like payment plan you know it's a reoccurring fee as well so um in other ways obviously sponsorships people you know if your channel is great and if you're making a content in like tech or software niche or just you're an overall good person a brand might reach out to you via email and they might just offer you a brand deal another great way of getting monetized is private community which the it's not it's actually where you can sell your time for value so you can help people i'm uh, myself i'm launching school on school on april 1st so uh stay hyped for that that's gonna be awesome i'm gonna create truly a great community there and uh yeah it's gonna be my way to monetize this channel and build like a gigantic business around it many people are gonna hate on me for it but i think nowadays it is the best and most honest way to build an educational business because selling a course is just some i think because i believe in karma first of all second of all you know not like okay uh, let's say i charge you 500 dollars for a course like for example whatever you're watching right now it's supposed to be paid for like i'm giving so much value but um the way i think about it is i give people a lot of value if they want to actually use their value or or no let, let me rephrase it so i'm dropping this free product right so and then you have two choices you can be a lazy degenerate about it and just click off the video and move on with your degenerate life but i mean i'm assuming if you're watching up to this point you're you're not degenerate you're on the on the other team so the other team they watch the video fully they learn the information and then they decide to implement their information and from there they have two ways first of all they can move on on their own for free and do whatever they want with this information try go through errors and trials or they can join a paid community paid someone like me or 
you know other community um and at the cost of money use experience of someone who's just seen more stuff who knows more than that more than you know it basically okay right now if you're at level zero in the youtube game i'm let's say at level 10 so i am just more experienced just because i've spent more time doing it so in order to get to my level you can spend a lot of your time trying to do that but it's going to be harder naturally or you can just join the private community uh and then you you know get there faster but i'm not like selling right now that i haven't even launched it there i'm just giving an example of that you can do that too that's what i'm saying um school is called by the way great website i think it's gonna revolutionize the educational business worldwide very soon i'm excited to jump on this trend but again uh, to sum it up private communities um affiliate marketing you can also it's so generic but you can sell like your merch you know print on demand type of thing you can just print your brand like you know i have guns and roses but let's say i i can just print ai guy and sell the shirt like this someone will buy it thank you for watching the video up to this point if you enjoyed it consider watching my other free courses just navigate to this playlist right here subscribe to the channel if you liked the video see you in the next one